Oh, is this the person? Live now debating Vosh about whether or not America deserved 9-11, link in bio. Isn't the deserve 9-11 a, a Hassan meme and not a my meme? That feels like a Hassan meme to me. Don't you believe that, though? In terms of, like, overstating the harm of 9-11 is really dumb and hypocritical because it was a direct product of our destructive foreign policy, and in those... Like, in those minutes that the towers fell, we experienced but a fraction of a fraction of the harm we've inflicted on other countries with no regard whatsoever for their population. And that our country is insanely fucking hypocritical that it will overstate the harm done by a single attack against us. Well, there's a reason why the worst damage done to our country in the past century is from terrorism. And not from, say, an active military invasion. But like Hassan said, it's not that the people who died deserved it, it's that America brought this on as a consequence of its behavior. I mean, it was done by Al-Qaeda. You think we had nothing to do with it? So what Hassan said? Yes, Hassan was correct. Do I remember 9-11? Yeah, it happened when I was, um... in art class, I think. In, like, second grade or some shit. And I distinctly remember my art teacher, like, wheeling out a TV to put on, like, a news report or something. Is 9-11 still talked about as much now that newer generations weren't around to experience it? There was a tweet about that that I saw yesterday that was pretty funny. It was talking about how... In there was a TikTok that was talking about politics, and it had to explain what 9-11 was. Like, 9-11 was the attack from Al-Qaeda against the Twin Towers in 2011. And, um, and the comment was something like, you know you're getting old when you, uh, when people have to explain what 9-11 is. Did I say 2011? 2001. Because it's true, like, growing up, anytime 9-11 was referenced in pop culture, nobody ever had to explain what it was. Because it was just, like, a cultural assumption that if you were an American, you knew what 9-11 was. Because it got talked about all the time. I thought the Taliban did that for the longest time. Um, yeah. I mean, for, for your average American's, like, political understanding, the differences between Al-Qaeda and the Taliban aren't, like, probably especially important. If you ever want to, like, comment on Middle East politics, yeah, but... I, I, it's a distinction. I don't know if it matters that much for, like, the political decisions an American citizen would have to make. To me, it's more important that they understand the difference between ISIS and the Taliban slash Al-Qaeda. That's the important one to me. Because who, boy, is ISIS a whole other goddamn thing? Vosh, it's kinda sad most Americans see no difference between each Muslim group. Well, Rodzilla 2K, I mean, Al-Qaeda and the Taliban, it, I don't know if it's because they're Muslim. It just seems like it's because they're two terrorist groups that are around the same time in the same area. But yeah, I mean... Americans don't know shit about foreign policy anyway. Isn't ISIS a lot more recent? Yeah. Oh, hey! Vosh, do you love how almost every anti-war conservative and morphed into a neocon overnight? Yeah, Shu, it's, uh, it's pretty fucking great. I'm glad we can go back to the, the old ancient ways. The, the only reason conservatives pretended to be anti-interventionist is because Trump was also pretending to be anti-interventionist. And that's literally it. As soon as Trump no longer finds it politically expedient to pretend to be anti-interventionist, he sent out a letter today saying we should go back. He's just mad that Biden had the balls to do it. Hey, chill. He's just mad Biden. Big dick Biden. Fucking fat, chuffy Biden over there. Laying out the long hog of the law. Okay? Compared to itty bitty baby Trump. Seriously, that really is the only... Remember when Trump did that incredibly cringy, you're fired, Obama reenactment? Remember that? Dude is so vindictive. The only reason he hated Obama... Just because, like, Obama was mean to him when he was running. He's just mad Biden did what he couldn't. That's why Sleepy Joe was so sleepy all the time. Isn't it crazy that we invented missiles, like, just 80 years ago, and now they're the bedrock of, like, all intercontinental military posturing, you know? In retrospect, missiles may have actually been a mistake. <sighs> you know, sometimes I wonder about that. Not about missiles, but about nukes. Do you think the world would be a more or less peaceful place without anything atomic or higher, you know? Because on one hand, obviously, the nuclear weapons are the only thing we could really end the world with, you know? Like, all other conventional weaponry doesn't really have the ability to literally end the species. But on the other hand, it serves as an effective deterrent that prevents ground invasions. What if in a non-nuclear world, we were like at war with France right now? Like, why not, dude? The most you can do is just run bombing sort. It's true, we still could have had chemical weapons or bioweapons, but you get what I mean, right? Why have we never made nuclear bullets? 
well, we have depleted uranium rounds, which are, you know, something similar, kind of. Also, the complexities of a nuclear detonation aren't really suited for the trajectory and speed of a bullet. Are those real? I thought video games made those up. No, they're real. Hold on. Depleted uranium rounds. They're uh, pretty wild. Depleted uranium is uranium with a lower content of the fissile isotope, so you can't make, you can't use it for nukes or whatever. Um, it's less radioactive and non-fissile. Use of DU take um, advantage of its very high density of 19.1 grams per cubic centimeter, 70% denser than lead. Do you have any idea how fucking dense lead is? Holy shit. And it's 70% denser than that. This, the fucking molecular compound is packed so goddamn tightly together. They're used in counterweights in aircraft, radiation shielding. Military uh, uses include armor plating and armor piercing projectiles because they're so fucking heavy that they can punch through. What would this bullet do to you? It would do to you the same thing as any other bullet, but it's useful for breaching heavy armor because it's so dense. Um, that you can pack an unbelievable amount of weight into a small, um, surface area. They're pyrophoric on fragmentation, too. Oh, shit, that's sick. I wonder how much one of these bullets would cost. Used as tank armor. 33 millimeter ordnance. Depleted uranium is fa uh, favored for the penetrator because it is self-sharpening and flammable. On impact with a hard target, such as an armored vehicle, the nose of the rod fractures in such a way that it remains sharp. That is very interesting. I actually didn't know that. So, almost like a, a gemstone, it the the way it like, like it cuts along certain lines that allows it to huh. So it doesn't flatten. It just just shaves off in a continued. That is so interesting. And it often ignites when a depleted uranium penetrator reaches the interior of an armored vehicle. It catches fire, often igniting ammunition as fuel and fuel. Wow. So it basically just self-sharpens as it penetrates tank armor, and then on the inside, once it's exposed to oxygen again, it sprays a fine dust of flammable, highly kinetic, extremely fast-moving powder that instantly ignites in the air and sprays the interior of the tank with fire. Damn. That is kind of sick, but probably also bad. That just... Don't make fun of me for this, but does that not sound like a description you'd see in a fucking 40k wiki? You know, like the the Magnetius Umperium Bolter fires a a a, a blessed shell that self sharpens as it penetrates the the armor and then instantly sprays the interior. It just sounds like some made up sci fi grim dark bullshit. You know, it it does it do, it it does legal status as weapons. I don't think I don't think I want these. These seem, these seem like they'd be a hassle. It has so much force, it will make a vacuum-like force liquefying the crew of a tank. Jesus, fuck. Apparently we have a lot of them. In the 1999 war in Iraq, we fired two-thirds of a million. Okay, with respect to the Iraqi military in 1991, did we really need depleted uranium rounds for that, you know? In video game terms, that like would that not be like going up against like grunt enemies and then busting out like the bazooka and using it like they had a lot of tanks? I guess it seems slightly overkill because the U.S. military does this all the time. You know, um, our military has a huge budget and it has to spend it somewhere, so it goes to the fucking arms companies, which sell them a ton of cool toys. And then the military goes to war. And do you think, like, the military's not going to use those toys? Like, like, do you think they're going to, like, withhold on that? Probably not. Damn. Well, okay. Well, I didn't know about a lot of this stuff, but all right. I was uh, curious.